game. Did, they did I'm, do three yeah. player, perfect. So what, how, what have we got here? I've got vodka in yellow and a red Melkor in red side. So yeah. Team colors. I think we can keep it that way. No need yep. to change to team colors. I always like it when you don't have to use it. It's just yep. a bit of visual variety. Uh, yeah, but sometimes you just have to use it if it's red against orange or teal against blue. Yeah, I'm just doing a quick check on the maps. Um, things look pretty okay for me. The main thing is the boars. A couple of two golds for each player is correct. Everything looks fine. So um, heading into the game, this is uh, C2A Cornacropolis, which is kind of like Acropolis, as you can see. Um, both players with a hill with a lot of their starting resources on. Um, a gap in between in the lower the lower ground with some extra resources and then the main extra resources are in the corners where there's lots of extra golden stone um, which is going to be essential to take control of if we reach the post imperial age in the game but um in the meantime the players have got to get there and <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm just looking at the civilizations and kind of thinking that vodka might be trying to avoid it going to uh, a very very late game against the Spanish, being that he is the Japanese. Yeah, but I think until the very late game, Japanese should have an edge, an upper hand against the uh, Spanish, because look at those maps, we have two forward gold spots. Stone as well, pretty forward, like Melka has a, no, Vodka has a side stone, and for the Spanish player the stone is more important than for the Japanese player. Melka could go for a backstone if he wants to go east at us, but I don't think that's gonna happen. The map is way too open for this. So I think we're gonna see a pretty intense feudal game. Might be wrong, but let's see. Yeah, and I think dressing is probably pretty essential on this map because it's just so easy to walk straight over to the other player's hill and just go straight up there. Um, like trying to go feudal without a drush was likely. Ooh, there seems to be a bit of a lag. Vodka complaining about the ping. Yeah, indeed. I know I know both of those players. I play a lot of team games with them, and Vod likes to lag sometimes. He has not the best internet, so... Mm. And in this lag, I don't think Vodka can get... Oh, well, maybe he, no, he should be able to get both balls. If they are uphill, if they attack. Yeah. But all in all, I think I like Melka's map more than I like Vodka's. Yeah, I think the backstone for the, the Spanish player, and he'd be able to do a nice wall off around those forests on the left hand side to make the stone safe as well. Um, and although his goals are forwards, he'll probably be going for a castle at some point. To, and, you know, putting a castle on, on that hill is going to make it very hard to push up against the goals. That's, the mm -hmm. one, that's kind of the one thing for uh, this map to bear in mind is that. Even if you get sort of put at a disadvantage early on, you can obviously defend defend your hill um, with that the advantage yes. of the hill bonus um, and kind of claw your yes. way back. The defender generally has an advantage in this kind of map unless you can kind of sneak onto the the hit the side of the opponent's hill. Yeah, yeah, I know. I like those maps, and they are extremely close. So that's gonna be should be an aggressive game. And first thing I noticed that Me Vodka was standing next to yes. Melko's bow and he didn't take it, I don't know, maybe they're not laming each yeah, other. That the, that's nice actually in the oh wait, well, it's not allowed, it's not allowed, I forgot, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no I problem. forgot, that's my... My bad, yeah, both feeling not allowed. I was thinking, yeah, maybe it's because they are in the same clan or something. And now I just remember that it's not allowed. Yeah, the reasoning is that, especially when there are normally only three games and we want to see how the different civilizations play against each other, um, Having something as potentially as decisive on a boar steel, especially on maybe a map like this where it's very open, and maybe you've got yeah. bad deer perhaps as well. Like one player might have good deer, and one might have. And is it only not allowed to steal a boar? Or can you lame the will trying to get the boar without loom or something? Is this allowed? Well, I, there's nothing in the rules and settings that says you can't. I just, um, okay. I mean, I think that's just good harassment play, harassing play. But as far as yeah, actually yeah. stealing the boar, that. That's the only thing I mentioned. Like any other, anything else is permitted. Basically, okay. is, was the instruction. We can see vodka is of course going for a barracks um, as Japanese, um, and he probably will be drushing because trying to go up quickly and do men at arms. Yeah, he's really taking the ten gold. That, yeah, with that boar as well coming in late, it's not really possible. The Japanese drush is oh, but he's losing a lot of HP on his scout. That's not good. Not Only sure. fifteen HP left. Because he ran past by the TC of Melka. Yeah. And I think Melka. No, oh, he's gonna lose even more. 
No, but that Japanese rush is so strong because you can get your barracks up so early because you only have to spend 100 wood on your Rumba camp and your mill. Normally you have to spend 200. So you can get it like 40, 50 seconds, maybe even one minute earlier than usually. Mm. And that's that's what makes the, the Japanese rush so nice. And if you get to feudal age with your militia, they get so much stronger. Or even men at arms maybe if you keep upgrading them. Because then I think it's at 20, let me take a look again. It actually works at uh, 33%. Yeah, it's, 20, it's 25%, they attack 25% yeah. faster. But um, the game, with like the attack speed bonuses, the game does like one over the the bonus speed, so it actually becomes 33%, I think. Oh, I didn't know The tech tree is wrong, like, so they're even more OP. But Melkor is, is doing a good job of shielding his base off, or so I was going to say, until he Ooh, hole but there's the gonna top. be a hole. But he lost the skull. Ooh, he has no, no loom, he has no, no loom. Ooh, oh and that's God. the second villager which will go down. He really Ooh. needs to keep his that, militia from walking and he's, the mill. he's doing Loom pretty late, what? He's going on stone? No, what is he doing? Yeah, will he, he go scouts? I think that looks like scouts. No, he's putting up more farms. It almost is looks he like wants he's to go trying FC. to get away with an FC, yeah, with, and try and get... He will just go FC. And you know what? This would have worked if he... <laughs> if he would have done Loom earlier. Because he, he was just missing the wall by one tile, but Vodka was sacrificing his scout, so he could keep it open. But even now, I don't, I don't really know if I would like this too much. Because now, if Vodka gets up fast and doesn't go for FC, he could put up so much pressure on Melka. Yeah, I mean, no, I really don't think that a straight up FC Kong's play is the right thing to do on this map. Yeah, I mean, if he goes just going towers, he's even up earlier, and now. Maybe adding one, two militias, upgrading them to men at arm, going on stone with a few wills. Yeah, it'd be so dangerous. And of course, like men at arms and tower forwards of all the rage at the moment, very much in fashion. <laughs> We've seen a lot of those in the Arabia one v one. But yeah. yeah, and especially look look at the map of Melka. He's in such a tiny, in such a tiny spot. He could just put one tower on the backwood, one tower on the stone, and then maybe on the front goal to deny some farms as well. Yeah, I mean, even if Melkor manages to get the castle, uh, like the gets the castle age with the resources for the castle, he's probably gonna have so little presence on the map that he won't be able to get yeah, in a great spot either. What guy's going forward with? Oh, he has two injured wills, so he's pulled them back. Yeah, he's gonna go forward with three, with three villagers. Yeah, I like seeing that. Maybe he could have been a bit faster, maybe adding one militia. He's definitely not gonna go. He's gonna put forward Archie Rangers and Tower. Yep, so Melkor I think ideally would like to get that castle on the edge yeah, of the hill. I don't, I don't goal, like this play at all. On, on such a map, just going Kong. Yes. Yeah, Mel Melkor is even asking in the chat, was that an extra early rush? Well, it was early, but that's pretty standard for Japanese. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't. You were quite rightly pointing no. out how quick, how quick the Japanese can be with the drush, but because yeah. they were experiencing a bit of lag and it wasn't the cleanest start gauge, it actually wasn't all that fast. Yeah, um, because normally you put your barracks up at around 6 minutes 30, and now he did put it up at 5 minutes 40, I think, or 5 minutes 50. So that wasn't that fast for Japan. And now Melka has to do his first counter tower. Yeah, and. I'm not sure if Vodka might just delete that tower and reboot. Ah, he should. He should definitely delete. Another no one way back. he can get it up again. And if he, does especially do that, because there's only three villages forward. Yeah, he's. He can just put it on the on the other side. Exactly that. That tower, counter tower for Melkor doesn't exactly save him from a lot of the kind of yeah. angle of attack that. You know, Melka. He wants. I think he wants to sell stone now to get up. But if he he needs more defensive towers, otherwise. Oh, he's not. Why is he not reacting? He has to put a tower there again. I'm gonna see if he can see. He has to put a tower, and he's he late. See. He's late. Whoa, that's sloppy by Melka. What was he looking at? That's the only thing he has to worry about, I think. And the only other thing he was doing was building his market, but um. Yeah, yeah, that, that's exactly. And it shouldn't Ooh. take more than a fraction of a second. That's maybe. But he has got the tower not just even in time. That bad for. Yeah, that's maybe not even that bad for. Um, Amelka, because now he can, he can kill the tower as well. Yeah, but now he has to sell 200 stone to get up. Yeah, he's gonna have to, but yeah, that, that's what he did, and he's up. A ton of stone. But he won't get his castle, castle up because 
he only has seven villagers on stone. And that's not enough if you have zero stone. Well, now, now it's gonna be a lot more. <laughs> oh, oh no. Man, God. Oh, that's so inefficient. The outpost too. Like, he really doesn't want to do another tower on that side. But I he think he has to, to because if now he has to put another tower, that, that's the thing. He's doing, I think, the best job he could do at the moment. Still, that's. Uh... Yep, here we go. Throw a ton of Spanish villagers onto it to try and build another tower. Well, it will be enough to defend by now, but like, Hotka can just go up to the castle, age, chill out with a few archers here and then, then go cross and just kill him. Yep. He could even do a delayed monk rush later. Yeah. <laughs> that would be interesting to see, yeah, because by the time uh, Melkor actually gets that castle up, he will have mined about a thousand stone in this game, and he's... Yeah, and then, and then Vodka's gonna be in Castle Age himself as well, I think. Yeah, and... Because look at, he has only has 180 stone at the moment, and Vodka's... Okay, Vodka doesn't have such a great ego. He has to put up more farms now. But he has more villagers on stone, so he can, he can put another... Ooh, and he might even get in there. Look at the palisade. Men at arms killing it so fast. Quick archers behind. Quick gate. Oh, nice gate. Back to special, but there is still going to be. No, well, the hole next to Blacksmith doesn't really matter because he won't walk through the Yeah, TC. no, that's going to be too close to the TC. Oh, losing one minute down. Okay, so Melkor has reached the castle this, age. Oh, I didn't want to say it, but I like this. Uh, yeah, the good tower. Yeah, it didn't deny so much room to Melkor. Yeah, I think. Do you think if he would have put did one tile to the left to be able to chop uh, to 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 hop through? I don't know the mechanics of it. Yeah. Well yeah, enough. I don't really know them exactly as well. I don't only know them on arena. But sometimes on Black Forest you can do crazy stuff with <laughs> towers and hopping. Yeah, people. St I mean, look at that stone mine. How many villages are getting blocked? Yeah, it's crazy. That's so inefficient. He has like he's in Castle H now, but he can't do anything with this early uptime. Yeah, how much stone is it actually sitting on? Still only 500. 500. Well, that, that's good, but... Yeah, but he's... Even, even if he will get his castle up, he only has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 working farms at the moment, and 4 villages on deer. Which is maybe... Okay, no, he's gonna pull them back now, because he knows that the arm is coming. Phew, I don't know, he's only doing double bit X at minute 20 now. Yeah, throughout this but, time, obviously Vodka has just had villagers working on much more productive things than 12, Yeah, and Vodka's ego looks stone. great. He's, he's even putting up defensive towers, which I think he doesn't even need now at the moment. Oh, and here comes the castle from Melko. He's gonna take his main goal. Oh, or not? What is he doing? Yeah, he's putting it right in front of the TC. Oh, but that's so bad. He, he lost so much time with that female villager going across. Yeah. And a couple of those villagers could well go down with the archers coming in it, as well. It should go up, but that's gonna be not ideal. Especially Jump. now, if Vodka gets the second tower up and... Oh, I don't know, why is Vodka retreat? Thing. Uh, well, now it's gonna go up. I tell you what, these conquistadors that Melkor's gonna make are better do a hell of a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, otherwise that... Oof. Yeah, he's just sold stone again. <laughs> he still has 10 villages on stone. He's he actually, should just make a second lumber camp on He's actually almost farm. completely finished his primary stone as well. <laughs> which is yeah, astonishing. At minute, minute 21. 21. <laughs> uh. Vodka's just going to be a bit annoying and can just tower the, the other gold, so... Melkor still can't mine it. Is he going? I don't see it. He's Let me just to the point. south of the castle. He's building another tower there, just out of range. Oh, there! Oh, that's a nice tower. I like it. I was looking at the other stone. Uh, at the other go. Yeah, and then maintaining his archer presence on the uh, other side. Take, taking a look on the stone, that's so inefficient. But at least it's nearly gone, so <laughs> he won't have. And Ooh. now, Melk. Uh, what get? Is getting up. The merits. Ooh. He has three conquistadors now, but I think Vodka should have enough archers to fight this. Yeah, I'm if just... he if he comes with if he comes with both armies. I'm just showing the stream Ooh. the resources collected at this point because Vodka with 300 more food and 1300 more wood at this point collected in total, <laughs> as well as a thousand more gold. <laughs> yeah, that's how effective Chinese lumber camps are. He had two lumber camps split and. Melkor had only one, of course with less villagers as well, but yeah, still. five villagers hiding in the tower. And um, 
Vodka's getting onto so many cross, sorry, archers, but soon to be crossbows now that the conks are really going to struggle with that. But Vodka's going to lose his villagers. That's not good. He should pull them back now. Oh, that's good. Yeah, those conks will take. Yeah, but I think villages. that Vodka's in an extremely good spot now. Even yeah. if he's few villagers behind now. One villager behind because he lost his forward wheels. But his economy is just so much better. Yeah, he can probably try and just defend his hill for a bit and get early ballistics yeah, but, to defend against the concrete. But Melka is sneaking his army and could get a few more picks here. Ooh, one. Yeah, definitely. The cook counts are shooting so <laughs> randomly, but he's gonna. Oh, that's not good for Vodka. He lost all of his five villagers. That was extremely unnecessary. But he's gonna. He wants to trap the Kunks. But that's the thing. Feudal arches are so weak against conquistadors. You really need crossbows. Yep. You can just out out micro. Look how easily they are to out micro. <laughs> Picking up five or six before he gets crossbow. Yeah, and now now they're gonna die. Yeah, if yeah. he fights, I would I would just run. Melko is a, doing a good job now to actually try and claw back some of the deficit. It's still a big deficit that he's actually. Yeah, same, but cross but and, and the so good against conquistadors. Much That's the thing which surprised me most in the 1v1 Arabia Invitational Tournament. The Chinese players always pick Spanish in game 2. Yeah. And they do so good with Spanish. They, I think who who lost his first game? Was it Be Happy? Who always picked Spanish in game 2? Yeah, Vivi as well actually. Vivi as well, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it was Vivi, yeah. Yeah, I, I would have always been surprised by that, but the reason why it works so well for the Chinese players when they do that is they take such good map control in the feudal age, like denying resources and everything that they can... The, the yeah, with forward towers and yeah. men at arms and everything, and then they just get to castle age and... conquistadors. I don't even know what Gus seems to be, even if he's 10 villages behind now. I don't know, it's hard to say who is ahead now. I think with the 10 villagers advantage and being on the second TC earlier, Iridium is, well, Melkor is starting to stabilize now. Um, oh, but he's doing a nice job sneaking around, but Vodka is anticipating again and he saw them. Oh, that's so nice play of Vodka. Yeah. I mean, that is the, the advantage he has here now is that Vodka will probably be quite scared to leave his base with his crossbows, at least until he gets mm. like two groups but of them. But he should, he has to leave them to catch up now because he's still just behind. 12, 13. <laughs> Yeah. And Melkor's starting to get more of those e economic upgrades as well, like Bosor coming in after he was a bit Yeah, and he's getting, Vodka's getting redemption, so he's gonna do the monk push, I was predicting. <laughs> but that's gonna be hard to push uphill because yeah, the mangonels will do not really a lot of damage to the TC, so I think he should push from either the left side or the right side. But on the right side, there are already two towers defending, so that's not gonna be easy as well. Ooh, and now Melka could do a nice damage with the Conquistadors. One villager, two. Now he's just gonna trade. Oh. Four villagers, maybe? Maybe? Yeah, four villagers, and he's gonna run and only lose one Conquistador. Yeah. That's so good for him. Yeah, so worthwhile. And Conquistadors, you could they, you could just abuse them on this map. It's so easy to just run around. And uh, Vodka has been kind of predicting where Melkor is going to go this whole time, but he's just been chasing shadows, always being late to catch up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the, that's the strength of Conquistadors. And uh, Melkor actually with the score lead now. With yeah, well, look picks. at the village account. He's 16 wheels ahead. But it's just a huge reversal from the early game. We probably wouldn't have seen this just coming. Imagine, imagine if he wouldn't have lost the two villagers to the Drush. Yeah. Then he would be so far ahead now. Because then his FC would have worked perfectly well. Now he had to struggle a lot. Okay, but let's see this. Now Vodka needs a good micro against those mangonels and Kunks with his monks. Kunks monks. <laughs> well, let's see. Is it gonna be Melka who's gonna push out? Well, it seems like, doesn't it? And, it's only three and where's, where's Vodka doing? What? Where is he going? <laughs> I don't get it. it. Seems like he wants to kind of avoid pushing uphill, but... Um, yeah, that, that's what I was saying, but he needs, a, he needs siege as well. He can't only push with mangonels and monks. 
it's just gonna convert everything. <laughs> but that's good luck plan. with that, but yeah, at yeah. least for now he has to defend at home. <laughs> that's not gonna be easy. But I think he should be fine with only defending with monks. He has two monasteries, he's gonna convert the Manganel now. Yes, yep, he does. And, and now he's, he's gonna get Ooh, Daniel nice hit as well. Ooh. He could have got he could have got two. Yeah, we have better attack ground, but converting one and destroying the other one is nice. And he's still got four monks there. Many of them with faith left on them, so. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And let's see him moving around. Ooh, he's gonna now. get this manganel as well. Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna lose the monk because. Still some conks Ooh, in there. Uh, is he? Is he? Is he? Oh. Ooh, that's Nice. This was close. Meanwhile, he's uh, skulking around the back of Melkor's map with those 20 crossbows and four monks. But should be able to get some picks, maybe some conversions, but not yeah, really. Yeah, but still, he's, huge he's nearly 20 bits uh, behind. Him. And Melkor is doing town watch, so he's not gonna. He's always gonna see them. Yep, some of those uh, early towers actually having a second wind in the game, if you like, now that's becoming useful again as well. I wonder, uh, he was, he's gonna do Ballistic as well. And Ballistic is one of the most important upgrades if you are fighting against Kisadas, because then they can't out micro you, and if you have more crossbows, you're gonna kill them. Yeah, I did wonder if we would see um, like a really, really fast ballistics from vodka when he got to the castle age and he had so much more army. Cause yeah, but he lost, he lost, he lost five of his wood villagers, so I don't think he had the eco to do them. Yeah, the timing of that was probably what present prevented him. But Melkor's on his way up to imp seventy-five villagers, but he's uh, you know, he doesn't need hundreds because he's not doing paladins or anything like that. He's probably just going to. Yeah, I think he should go who's Hassas now, and he's putting up stables at least, so. Yeah, he's just doing like conks and siege and maybe some SRs as well. As he has say. three stables now. Let's see what he's doing. Because now, what guys? So 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 many monks. <laughs> I think he has ten at home and five far at the front. Ooh, Manganel shot. Look at Vodka's army. Okay, but he sees it. But downhill, the yeah downhill, the Manganel only needs one hit to kill a monk. That's why it's so hard to push against. On I this map. I think Vodka deleted it anyway. Sorry, yeah, Vodka no, no. It anyway. Yeah. Melka deleted, but I think he could have had one more kill. Who and now the Conquistador is going to the back stone, maybe? Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah he sees a, the stone. Another, another five or so picks, but. Um, oh, he should go to the back but of I think the he's going to the wood. That's good as well. Ooh. Ooh. See if he's. Ooh, but he's not. Oh, he's not. Oh, he should have gotten more to, into the wood line. Now. Vodka can react in time. And only lost three villagers. That could have gotten much worse for him. I was wondering if it was gonna go really badly for him because he's actually focusing on microing his army yeah, on the other side yeah, as he well. Should have, he should have stayed, I don't know, like close to the tower before the wills could garrison inside. Yeah, and Melka is gonna do lights and hussars. He has a lot of gold, but he doesn't have a lot of food eco. Ooh. And his eco is still pretty, pretty bad, <laughs> if you ask me. Look at the farms, the, a lot of farm places denied. Uh, and vodka is going up as well. And early imp, it's pretty hard to defend against Arbalest for, for the Spanish player, because you don't really have a counter in early imp against a mess of Arbalest. Let's see how he's gonna do it. He has to do the damage now. Vodka is gonna do pikemen as well, but he's putting up castles, so he's gonna be fine. And the next oh, yeah, the castle on the front hand spotted that. Yeah, so um, I think this is really nicely I've positioned now with both players having kind of like fortified the hill yeah. and reaching the Yeah, yeah, stage. it's still pretty it's still a pretty open game. Melka is gonna go Hassas for now, maybe Paladin later if he has en enough gold. Well, or we maybe Kongs, hand cannons, I don't know. He's got And Vodka is definitely not gonna go Arbalest and Halb Hebadius. Yeah, well Paladin later on could be an option for uh, Melkor because he's got to this point without spending masses and masses of gold and there is a lot of extra gold in the map There's one behind his base and then the corners if you look in the left corner for example, which is pretty close to Yeah, if you like if you can take the map control paladin is an option for him But obviously against Japanese helps you you need something else as well <laughs> uh, I get bullets so hard in the chat Nobody likes me Greek and Pux are so mean I think if you go 
Hussars, a Paladin, even Scums would be also quite nice because Scums are pretty effective against Halberdiers. Yeah, it's effective and against Melka is gonna do Arbalest as well, so Scums could be ni a nice option. And those two Conquistadors at the back is doing damage. Yeah, but now he's gonna lose them. Yeah, TC's finally gonna take care of them. Bit of a pause now, is that the same for you? Yep. Good. Oh, we're so paranoid about the stream crashing. <laughs> Look where Melkor's going in the bottom of the map. He's got two villagers uh, trying to take out some of the back resources, perhaps. He might TC over there. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, which... awesome sne oh, Melkor, that's good. Yeah, so all some sneaky stables down there, perhaps. Two villagers in the bottom corner of the map. Oh, I, I just spotted them. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you to That's going to be an interesting end of the game now. Broadcasted out the message. Okay, game on pause for me. Um, yeah, now it's, now it's continuing for me. Yeah. Slowly. So some Hussars is going to run into crossbows and... Well, actually those crossbows are doing so little damage to plus four Hussars even, da even yeah. downhill. He needs Arbalest. <laughs> yeah, it's desperately Arbalest and Bracer chemistry all missing, obviously. And uh, those Hussars are really powerful against the Cassinade crossbowmen. Ooh, you but now he's coming with the Pikes as well. That's going to be the end of the Hussars. But I still would go to the TC with the... He doesn't want to lose them just before he gets the up. Ah, oh, but that's a waste from Melka. Yeah. Oh, he should have. She all those Hussars. But uh, Melkor's definitely... He's done a, for, uh, a forward university in that bottom corner. Screw up. <laughs> I'm going to steal your resources with knowledge. <laughs> now he's gonna, he's gonna just wait from everywhere and I don't think yes. that's the way to go on such a... Tiny, no, I don't want to say tiny map, but tiny base maybe, because yeah. it's so easily defendable. Yeah, it's so compact and he's just going to be taking a lot of yeah. arrow fire from compact, that's directions. the route I searched for. And um, obviously the monks in there to help convert random conks that are running around, if it's conks rather than... I think Melka wants to do bomber towers. He's going to put more villages on stone, he's going to do chemistry. And there comes the scums for archery ranges at home. That's a pretty balanced map, and now Melko, and uh, now Vodka wants to push this hill. Oh, I think that's gonna work. Yeah. I like the Arbalest and Habadir as soon as he gets Habadir. Combination. Pretty much forces the opposing player to go into heavily into league skirm to defend it, because unless they've gotta go like crazy yeah. amounts of paladins or something, then and hand cannons that maybe to work against the house, which is so resource intensive. Elite skirm is maybe the only thing. Yeah, but he will be he will he will he will be able to repair his castle long enough to get elite scums, I think. Oh maybe not. Maybe not. Oh and look at those three arbalests, he still he still left them in the corner. He wanted to secure the relic with them, but now he's gonna chase the villagers going to the corner. On the left side. Yeah, I see it. I think now what gets a pretty pretty nice advantage. Even if it's 20 villagers behind at this point, you don't need much more villagers with Japanese, and their first castle went down. Yeah, 100 villagers. That's gonna be tough to defend for Melko. Early him. Those Arbalests are just so hard to defend for Spanish. Yeah, it's the combined arms as well, like backed up by Japanese pikemen with the attack speed and monks in the back as well. Even those 10 monks so. could do a lot of damage. Yeah. If you have, but he didn't get any upgrades for the monks. I think now it's even worth upgrading the monks. He has 600 gold and 10 monks. Well, he did he have could. his redemption done. I don't know if he did anything else. Yeah, like he could get plus three range yeah, and block illumination and then just convert the bombard cannons as well. Block printing and those upgrades. Melkor finally is kind of dealing with those arbalests in the corner and getting access to the resources on the left. So he is going to be rich if he has time, but he time is not on his side at the moment with the strength of Vodkor's push. He doesn't really seem to have an answer yeah. to it. Do you see him? I think that's over now. It's not really massing anything. The only thing I want to say are the monk... Uh, the only thing I want to see now are the monk upgrades, <laughs> so he can take care of the bombard cannons. Oh, now he has to get some nice conversion. I think even you could even get some cap ramps now mixed in. Just to destroy the houses and the stables and stuff. Make the push much easier. And 
he has the resources for it. But he's gonna he's gonna catch up with eco economic upgrades now for the moment. Oh yeah, only just three heavy points. And we are thumbing only now, that's delayed, but that's gonna be pretty unstoppable I think. And he has to get more upgrades on his both infantry and archers. Moko definitely thinks he can hang around for a while longer though, he's really kind of trying to lay down production facilities everywhere and get whatever units out he can, especially a lot of elite skirms. Yeah, Moko could even go for elite samurai now. Because Melka doesn't have anything which could counter them. Oh, Vodka, please do the monk upgrades. You could convert everything there. And he needs the plus for. Look, now he's, he wants to he wants to convert the bombard cannons, but he just doesn't have enough range. He has to go range, so close. Yeah. Have you seen the one halberdier on the west corner of. Um, yeah, not he right in the corner, but just now, wrecking that whole That's gonna take ages really to kill funny. a Japanese halberdier. <laughs> <laughs> but this is oh, that's, that's the second one. Look at yeah. the second one. Okay, now let's focus on the push now. Yeah, that's gonna. Even if he doesn't have plus four, now he's doing block printing at least. Yeah, and he should definitely. Yeah, that's game now. Yeah, GG. Really nice push by Volker in the early Imperial. Age. Yeah, I like this game. That was interesting. Yeah, um, it was kind of went three ways because uh, early on. Melkor looked to be at a huge disadvantage, and then he kind of came back into it. Did a lot of good of raid, yeah. good raiding, mm. took a sizable villager advantage. But then Vodka just used the strength of the early Imperial Age and with the Japanese to push it straight back, and Spanish not really having that much of an answer to it. Yeah, exactly. I think Melkor did even well with the Hussars, but he couldn't. He didn't do enough damage. And I think, even if it sounds a bit stupid, I think we, what lost him the game was the crush at the beginning. Yeah, two villagers going down with no loom. Oh, he's even saying three, but I don't think it was... I think it was only two, yeah. 